I want things to feel familiar, but I also like, I really want to focus on the distance from the actual object by way of it being recreated by some sort of contemporary process, whether it be like CNC, 3D printing, or anything like that. I feel like when you mix, um, when you take um, an industrial process and a completely organic material, like skulls and things like that, you kind of create this sensation of an invisible machine, like the presence of industrial process. I mean, they're plain old 3D printers. I use ceramic, traditional art material, easy to work with. Uh, the reason I don't focus on high resolution 3D prints is because that amazement that you have when seeing that is kind of alluding to the craft. Craft is just less important at the moment. So yeah, I'm interested in platforms and um, creating platforms that create art. So, for the cre so I create platforms to make art. So 3D printers are a platform I'm using now to 3D print, 3D scans of um, say ancient tribal masks, things that relate to the African and African American identity and experience. But I don't think I'm an identity artist, I think I'm a post-identity artist, meaning that I'm more interested in the constructs surrounding identity as opposed to expressing uh, what my identity is necessarily treating it like data or something I like clay a lot because you can manipulate it after the fact so when you think you're done you can always come back to it or tweak it or something and then you change the entire sculpture that way so I was thinking like maybe I 3d print some stuff and then manipulate it by hand and then 3d scan it again and just work with my own content as I uh, continue to manipulate my own resources, uh, I further distort the source material. So like I might scan a tribal mask from like Mozambique or something, or a Mende tribal mask, things like that, or like um, just any historical material that I think might passively relate to my identity personally and then I will cre create that 3d scan it then create it on the 3d printer and then uh, just either manipulate it in the computer or manipulate it after I've printed it and then rescan it and then print it again this distance like how does the access to everything at once change the effect, like how does that affect the work? It's definitely more about mm, investigating distance rather than trying to find a, rela a, a true relationship, a proper relationship to something. It's a pneumatic piston, so air comes through the back, clay is in the chamber in front of the piston, and then it's pushed out like a syringe out of a tube, and it's led to the effector head of the 3D printer. And at the effector head, there's an auger, and this auger controls the flow of the clay based on its rotation. Most of the programming is just the math to figure out how to position the, the effector head over the space. But then there are programs that generate G-code for you. I use open source softwares, but the hardware for the most part is my own. So you might ask, what is actually the artwork here? And it just depends on what you're seeing. If you're seeing the performance of the actual making of the 3D prints, then that's the artwork. If you're seeing the product of the 3D prints, then that's the artwork. If you're seeing both at the same time, that's the artwork. 